Hi, Darren Lyle here. Well, I got some more work done on my Blender course, Blender Vintage Car Creation, and this is just a time lapse of what I've done this week. And really, I'm just um, connecting everything up here in the smoothing mesh. And once I've got the smoothing mesh complete, I'll then duplicate off of here the actual external panels of the car itself. So now what I'm doing is just beginning work on the back part of the car, just drawing out the outline of the cab here. And this back fender curve is really interesting in this car. And it was difficult for me to kind of figure out how to do it from scratch. So what I did is kind of moved in toward it from all sides. So from the trunk and the door, I just began modeling everything around that difficult shape. And as I got closer and closer to it, it begins to kind of dawn on you how to approach it. And I think that's a really good strategy for anything within a Blender project that you're having trouble with. Work on everything around that and kind of move into it and evolve into it and you can begin to see how you can create it, what your strategy should be. So I've got that basic curve fender here and just trying to adjust it a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is just create this little bit where the fender turns up there and then continue it on down the back and complete the smoothing mesh here in the back. And then once you get that smoothing mesh done, you can begin removing edges that you don't need. And here I'm just making sure that the trunk and the hood are fully shrink wrapped to the smoothing mesh and then I'll begin duplicating off the panels of the car. And what this allows you to do is really get a very detailed shape around the outside of the panels. Get them really close together, really high tolerances here between the panels. because you don't have to worry about maintaining the actual shape of the panels. The shrink wrap modifier is doing that for you as it keeps it shrink wrapped to the smoothing mesh. So I'm just aligning the edges around the panels and here I'm just trying to fill in to the trunk and getting all the edges kind of lined up. And then connecting the under part of, or the extension of that front fender to the back fender because it's actually all one piece there. And there we go. So now we've got all the panels the external panels on the car and we can adjust the underlying smoothing mesh however much we want now. But I'm going to go ahead and begin working on some of the external parts like the headlights, the grill, this uh, rim around the headlights here. I'm going to work on that. And then once that's in place we can begin working on the headlights. And so I found an image on Google of a headlight. It isn't the exact one, but it's good enough to give us a good reference image. And create the lens of the headlight there. And there we go. And hey, if you've made it this far in this video, you may enjoy my Blender courses. So. 
check those out at the link in the description. And thanks for watching and see you soon.